You get followed around a lot, don't you? I know. I do. Does it bother you though that level of attention? I mean, is there anything you can do about that when you go out, or do you just accept it and, and understand it goes with the territory? And I, I don't deal with it very well. No. What do you do? Um, cry a lot. I shouldn't admit that, should I? Probably. No, I, I find it very frightening. Um, I do, and uh, and it is very difficult to get outside your front door with lots of men. And how, how often are people outside your front door? How often do you find that? Um, I mean, more or less somebody every day, but you know, it's, it's normally about five guys. Look, I'm shaking actually talking about it. It's no, really weird. No, I, actually I, have I understand a physical it must be a horrible thing because I'm a, a big, unattractive, hairy guy, and when I get out, and I, occasionally, not very often, someone will want to photograph me. I, and I find it really kind of intrusive and unpleasant, and, yeah. and I get quite cross. I mean, I, yes, yes, all of those things. Yeah. And I think, you know, it's, it's particularly scary when you're in a car and they're following in cars, because they do, like they did this morning, they were jumping red lights. And, and if you're in a car that's sort of, you know, if it's a minicab driver, for example, and, and they don't really know, then, then they get really freaked out that they're being followed, so they speed up. So you're suddenly in this sort of high-speed chase, and the guy's not looking out the front, he's looking in the mirror because people are chasing him, and then you think, okay, it's one kid that needs to come out here. And That's awful. So, so from that, yeah, I mean, it's scary. Uh, uh, and I guess it's pretty much like that all over the world for you, because the Pirates movie being so big, it, well, all, everywhere. Yeah. Uh, you're famous everywhere, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I went, yes. No, I went to Bhutan recently, and I wasn't famous there. They weren't interested at all, so, <laughs> which is lovely. Bhutan for your holiday Bhutan, from now I'm on. going there all the time, okay. yeah. Uh, before we talk more about Atonement, and I want to talk about that a bit more, let's talk about the Pirates movies, because they have just been huge, and I would have thought in advance of the first one coming out and being a hit, yeah. it wouldn't necessarily have been predicted to, to be that no, big. No, people laughed at me. Whenever I said I was doing a, a movie based on a Disney theme park ride, no, my friends just laughed. Yeah, which was understandable, really. Um, so, no, no, no one thought it was going to be any good. And pirate films weren't really in vogue, were they? No, I mean, no, I don't think they'd worked for about 50 years. Yeah, not so for no. a while. I love yeah. a pirate movie. I love these pirate movies. Uh, how much of your life did you spend making those movies? Well, the first one took about five months, and then the second two we were on for two years. So a long time. I haven't actually seen the third one yet. You haven't watched it? No, I was working when it came out, so I haven't actually seen it. Uh, well, they're great fun. I mean, you oh, know, good. I've seen it with the whole family. It, it's hard to work out in the third one sometimes what's going on, I must admit. It's a bit right. kind of, you know, not, not your scenes, but I didn't quite work out what was going on at times with, uh, with Johnny Depp. I think he goes mad at one stage. But Possibly. he's so charming to watch on screen, you can't help but enjoy him. Yeah. It, and he must be, I would have thought, great fun to work yeah, with. Yeah, he's amazing. I mean, it was amazing, and seeing him create that character, because certainly in the first one, no one thought that it would work. We were all sort of watching him going, OK, mate, you're right. Because it's this kind of it's, swaggering weird... Yeah, it's crazy. It's completely crazy. And it read on, on, in the script completely straight, so it was totally his creation, which was amazing. Um, yeah, and he's wicked, and I think somebody, a performer that can really take the bull by the horns and go for it is really impressive. Yeah. He's, well, uh, uh, once again, when he's performing like that, do you, are you, do you stand and watch and enjoy him? Or when you're in a scene like that, do you have to try not to relax into it like that? He's very kind and he doesn't do quite as much when he's off camera. Because otherwise, I mean, it did get to the point when everybody was just pissing themselves yeah. laughing because you can't not. It's a very funny performance. It's a very funny performance. Um, was the swashbuckling fun to do? Loved it. Absolutely loved it. And is yeah. there a lot of learning that goes on? You had to learn to sword fight yeah, and do yeah. that kind of thing? Yeah, I did a lot of training for that. Um, didn't get any in the first one, and I was really pissed off, so they gave me lots in the second and the third. Yeah, a lot more. I mean, you've got, yeah. and your, your role is more interesting, and it's more kind of pivotal in the film in the later ones. Again, I haven't seen the third, so I'm going to take your word for that, but yes. Do you not like watching yourself on screen, then? No. No. Why not? It's weird. Uh, no, I can understand why anyone would have a problem seeing themselves that big. It would be because suddenly you scrutinise yourself and you would see things about yourself that we would notice that perhaps yeah. you don't like and that would be... Yeah, no, I just think I can... I just don't think it's very good most of the time. So I just sort of watch the wheels turn and think, oh, why did you do it like that? And what, you're analysing your performance yeah, as well? Yeah, I can't watch it without analysing it. It's the same thing as hearing yourself on the phone. You know, you always go, oh, don't sound like that. It's exactly the same thing. Do you have a posh phone voice you use occasionally when dealing with, say, credit card people or yes. uh, if you were to phone uh, Debenhams? Yes. It sounds a little bit like the one in Atonement. OK. It's a kind of like that book. Very, very clear. Yes. Yes.